So I've just created a directory KiCad tutorial and I've created my PCB project inside that directory. Let's make a simple circuit. So I'll first add a connector and everything's going to be based off this connector. I'll have, so I can just search for con and I'll make this a, a generic connector. So just a one by six male. Doesn't matter what type of connector you're going to use because of the footprint we assign to this later. Uh, and what else are we going to need? Let's put in, we'll put in D for diode. We'll put in a little power LED perhaps. So we need an LED. We can use the R key to rotate. We'll need a resistor for that LED. R for, L for resistor. And we can just, and anytime you overlap two pins, they will automatically connect. That's how, if, if pins are uh, stacked up like that, KiCad will use that as a connection. And you can see here that it's dropped in the the node there. What else are we going to need? Oh, let's add a capacitor as well. So we've got all the basics. So of course, C for capacitor. And connect those all together. Okay, so rather than have a ground wire, I'm going to use this symbol over here, which is to place power ports. We can open up that and see that it gives us a lot of locked in options for power ports. I prefer to use this tool over, and I'll just use C to copy that, rotate that around. I prefer to use this power ports tool. A lot of people like to use these global labels and create like a, a global label like that to use as their grounds or other voltage systems. I don't think that's a good idea because if you have say a typo, like you write lowercase ground or you start mixing upper and lowercase you'll find that those actually won't connect so i find that i find that using these pre-baked power labels to be the the most reliable way to do that okay so now i'm going to put in a custom part that goes here and i'm going to put in one of these this is a uh, an isolated switch mode dc to dc converter so on the, on the inside you've got 12 volts in and on the outside you've got 12 volts out but completely isolated and this will be a, a neat way to show you how to make a custom part. So from E schema we can click this little button up here. It looks like the place component, the place symbol button but this is the create, edit and delete symbols. So we're going to create our own symbol and you'll see these are all the libraries that are built into KiCad but I'm going to create a new symbol or actually rather start go to file new library and you'll see that it's going to put it in the directory that our project is so this is going to be a local library that follows the project around can't stress this enough you you really need to create your libraries as local project specific libraries rather than globals if you make it a global the library will just be sitting off on your hard, hard drive somewhere and when you want to send that uh, project to someone else uh, half the symbols are going to be broken because all the custom parts that you make they're just not going to appear. So let's just call this um, components and this is, this is where this is the crux of it. We have to select project here if we want this to be shareable. Okay, so now I've got a now I've got a blank canvas to make our part with. And if we go to the data sheet for this part, we can see where's our pinout? So what do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have seven pins, but their um number four is missing. And I'll quickly copy the pinout as I see it here. Go to create a new symbol and go down to our components. Okay, the symbol name is span O two A. Just move these out of the way. 
and play some pins. Pin. Our name is VN minus, our pin number is one, and this is a power input. And I'll just shoot through this real quick. Okay, so we have all our pins defined. We've got the input side and the output side and a couple of pins not connected. I'll just create a body for the symbol using this rectangle tool. And a nice touch is to right click, go to options and fill with body background color. Just center that more or less and we can save that. So that is our component created. If I go back to EE schema, can I place it? Let's have a look. All right, so we've got our, if I search for components, we've got our library that we created. And we have the span O2A right there. So I can place my new custom part. And, ah, what's that? That's a little bug there. We've got two V and minuses. What was the correct? One minus plus, so pin two is plus. You're probably screaming at your at your monitor, seeing that the whole time. So if I save that, how can I update this? You know what? It just updated by itself. Ah, love it. On your keycad, it's uh it's convention to put positive above negative in in the libraries as well. So I'm going to do that too. Just because we can. Hey, that just updates on the fly. I love it. Cool. Uh, we can use the not place no connection flag here. Okay, so now we've got our power supply input and the output. So I'll just send it on its way. Oh, you know what? I'll use the power ports. So let's call this. Plus 12p, that sounds, that sounds like something that could be isolated and we need a different ground symbol. So what's our, uh, we'll call this ground D or whatever, oh, ground power, ground D, that sounds good. So our board isn't really that interesting. It just takes power in and passes power out, but I think that's probably enough for us to get started with. We'll just add some no connections here and save that. So one important thing about that library we created, when we go to preferences and manage symbol libraries, you can see that under the global library list are all the libraries that we see in the component selector. But under project specific libraries, we have our KiCad uh, project directory and the library that we created. What that means is if you bring in libraries from the outside and save them inside your project, you just need to add them here by pressing this uh, add, is, add existing library button. Next up, we're going to assign some footprints to these symbols.